Following a troubling discrimination lawsuit loss, what does the future hold for St. Louis County Police Chief John Belmer? County Executive Sam Page addressing leadership concerns with News 4 tonight. Alexis Zotos was inside the County Council Chambers when concerns were aired. She's live in Clayton tonight. Steve, changes are coming to the St. Louis County Police Department, but how fast and how extreme those changes are remain to be seen. I spoke with County Executive Dr. Sam Page within the hour to ask him what happens next. He says leadership changes are coming, and this following a more than two-hour meeting where multiple people said Chief John Belmer should be fired. Many of those were speaking about other incidents other than this discrimination lawsuit, but the review board is going to happen. There is going to be an external review. That was the order by the Board of Police Commissioners today after a two-hour meeting that they held with the chief. That external review We'll look at their policies, procedure, and of course, discrimination concerns following a lawsuit by Sergeant Keith Wildhaber, who was awarded nearly $20 million by a jury just days ago. He says he has been passed over time and time again for promotions because of his sexuality. We asked Dr. Sam Page tonight who is being held responsible for those allegations of discrimination. Certainly. Um, some of that responsibility falls on the department, um, it falls on the staff. I think it, um, it's a responsibility of all of county government to look very deeply at this and get to the bottom of it and move forward. That review will be the start of getting to the bottom of it. By the end of this week, we are expected the county executive to name new people for the police commissioner board. He says that is where the change needs to start. That is the top of this department, and that's where they will begin. I asked, should the chief step down? He says they need to focus on the public safety of this community and need to see out the process of this review and see what happens. Another big question tonight is what will fall on the backs of taxpayers in terms of this nearly $20 million lawsuit. The county says this just happened days ago. They are reviewing that. There is insurance, but how much could come on the backs of taxpayers is yet to be seen. Reporting live, Alexis Soto.